What's up guys? I am outside about to take a look at the garden because it's not raining <laughs> and it's not 30 degrees outside. Uh, it never actually got to 30 degrees. I'm probably exaggerating a little bit, but one night it got down to 33 and I was like, oh my gosh, Lord, please let my plants be alive. And I came out here yesterday and checked on them and they were all fine. Some of the green bean leaves uh, definitely had some damage. They did not like it getting that cold whatsoever. But other than that, everything looked great. So I'm excited to kind of walk through the garden today. It's been raining all week. Uh, it was raining all last week, so I just wasn't able to get out there much. Uh, I've been harvesting some radishes though, so I'm gonna re-sow some of those today. Uh, it's just a beautiful day though. So I wanna be outside with my plants. Nathan had a little guy's night last night and had just a few friends over. Uh, they grilled out, sat by the bonfire, and me and the kids just like stayed inside. Well, I came out here this morning and I saw something that I have literally been wanting for years. They are pretty pricey though. We've just never bought them. One of Nathan's friends gave this to us for free because he got them for free, like still of the century. Y'all know I am all about a good thrift find. Um, and I don't know actually who gave these to him, but he's like, man, I don't need them. You guys need them. So he brought them to us. I am so excited to show you guys. Look at these nesting boxes. I have literally, Lily, what? you chasing my shadow. <laughs> I have been wanting these for so long. He brought us two of them. I cannot wait to put them in the chicken coop. I think these are just going to be perfect. So I'm super, super excited about that. I've been harvesting a good bit of vegetables from the garden. Uh, mainly beans. I'm harvesting a lot. Radishes. I'm harvesting a lot. I actually came out last night and picked my first uh, daikon. I had a watermelon, which is actually a Chinese red meat um, radish. It was beautiful. When I cut into that thing, I was like, oh, I'm planting more of these, like for sure. It was so pretty. I've just been roasting them uh, in the cast iron skillet with a little bit of coconut oil and some turmeric, and that's it. And they just taste so much better this time of year. When you grow them, you're not worried about like the heat and stuff like that. They take on a sweeter taste. They're almost even, this sounds kind of crazy, but they just taste more crisp. Like they're not woody, you know? Um, I don't know, I just, it almost makes me think that I'm just not gonna grow radishes in the spring and the summer just because even our springs get too hot here. But growing them right now in the fall and throughout the winter, I've loved. I am going to my sister's tonight for dinner. Our families are just getting together and I am always responsible anytime we have some sort of family get together uh, to bring <laughs> the vegetables, obviously. So I'm out here just trying to rummage up some things. Uh, we've been harvesting from the beans quite a bit, so there's not just like a ton, but I've got some rutabagas ready. I figured between the rutabagas, the radishes, the green beans, I'm even gonna make Make homemade chocolate chip cookies with Charlie today and I'm gonna make homemade cornbread so I think between all that I'll probably be good uh, I kind of mentioned in a few videos back that I really like this time of year it allows me just to kind of pause and reset if you will and Nathan and I were talking this morning we were sitting around the fire I was like I really want to spend this time like learning to cook from scratch like that is something that I would find a lot of fulfillment in. Uh, you know, like I want a milk goat for several reasons to have our own milk, but I'd love to be able to make our own butter and make our own cheese and just really adapt the lifestyle of just cooking things from scratch. I feel like there is a lot of value in that. And for me, like, that's meaningful. Like if I took my time in the kitchen and I whipped something up from scratch, like I take a lot of pride in that. And I think it's really cool. And he was joking around, he was like, babe, I'm never going to be mad at you for spending more time in the kitchen. Uh, so that's kind of like one of my goals for for this season that we're in right now is just make a lot of sourdough, learn to cook from scratch, learn to actually cook. Dang it, that's something that I want to learn. Um, but I think it, it gets me excited. It's almost just like, oh man, I, I wish that I would have done this sooner almost, you know? Every day I keep checking on my kohlrabi. Now, I don't really know what size you're supposed to harvest these at, but if I had to guess, I would say this one, well, it's actually probably not. It's 
a pretty good size. I don't really know. But I keep coming out here every day and I'm like checking all of my Brussels sprouts to see if they have those little nubs yet. I'm checking all my broccoli to see if they're forming. I'm checking all my cabbages, all the things. My kohlrabi is looking really good. Look at that, that's big y'all. I think these are looking probably not harvestable size, but we are certainly getting there. Should probably bring these inside. Definitely gonna need these for the cookies later. You wanna make chocolate chip cookies with me today? But we don't have chocolate chips. I know, mommy's gonna go to the store and get some. Well, uh, since, well we do have, you know how you said you don't know where those big chocolate bars are? Mm -hmm. Well, daddy knows where they are. He was hiding the chocolate from me? Yeah. Let mommy get some more coffee and then we'll get the stuff to make cookies, okay? What are you, are you eating my breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> you look so cute, Charlie. Are you ready to make cookies? Are you sure? Okay, what's your favorite part about making cookies? Uh, about pouring it in a pan and eating all the chocolate chips. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I personally really like eating all the chocolate chips as, <laughs> as well. We don't make a lot of sweets. Um, I'm kind of a Nazi when it comes to sugar, if I'm being honest. So we do it limited in doses, but if I am going to splurge and let the kids have some goodness, I want it to be homemade. Um, and I just think that when I take a minute to step back and like realize the memories that are being made here, I know how sweet it is and it's worth the crazy sugar highs that are gonna come later. We need two cups of flour, so here. You want me to pour it over? I wish this was a family recipe, but it's a good old Pinterest recipe that I found on my phone. It's just basic chocolate chip cookies. Um, I don't know. I probably need to like mess around and try to create my own. That way I can pass it down because that would be actually pretty cool. We need one teaspoon of this. Watch out. Can I pour it in? Yeah. It's just you gotta put it in the spoon. All right, so just you scoop about this, one of these full and then put it in there. Like this? Yep, sure. I remember every Christmas growing up, we would go to my memo and papaws and we would read the Christmas story in the Bible and we would take turns reading that each year. And then we would help my papa Kenneth make tea like cookies. And as I began to have my own children and really wanting to like create those traditions, you know, like just looking back, like I want Charlie to be able to tell her kids, I remember every Christmas or every Thanksgiving or whatever it is, just really like creating those traditions. Um, We've started by like making cinnamon rolls, homemade cinnamon rolls on Christmas Eve. Me and my sister-in-law have been doing that for a few years and plan on keeping that tradition alive. Um, but I just think it's really, I think it's really cool and I think hopefully she'll have some special memories like that, like I did. Two eggs and then crack your two eggs. I'm gonna get a brown and a white. Okay. Can't wait. Can we hold that one for you? Yeah, just hold it. Please. Okay. Do not crack it. I'm not gonna crack it. Okay. Oh, good job. Oh, she's dropping something. Do you wanna lift this off? I don't wanna try what you created. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's enough. All right, then stir them in. <laughs> but it on me. Charlie is actually rolling up the batter right now. We're gonna put it on a parchment paper, on a cookie sheet, uh, the recipe. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is not just stored knowledge up here. The recipe says we do that and then pop it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and then we bake them. Uh, so she has done a really good job. Have you had fun? Yeah. I keep seeing you sneak chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> and she's so guilty. All right, guys, we are gonna finish making these cookies, get dressed, and head to my sister's. But thanks for hanging out with us today as we were hanging out in the kitchen, making memories. Charlie, what do you have to say to them? 
Bye bye. So thanks for watching. And to subscribe and give us a huge thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Like she said, we'll talk to you soon.